told me three and a half hours ago. <laughs> I won the cheesecake challenge. My heart goes, I think, to Julia's cheesecake. So I feel like I'm coming in on a high. I just wanna let you know, today is already going great. Julia is at the liquor store at 10 in the morning. They're still not open, and now I'm standing outside, and I'm in a here for the booze t-shirt. Oh, why? I have wine. It's fine. It's fine. I just can't work a tripod. That's really the issue. Do I not have wine? What the f I thought my cheesecake last time was amazing. That's not wine. No, that's way too coarse. And despite it all, like, I had everything working against me. I didn't have a hand mixer or anything like that, so I did it all by hand. Like, literally by hand. Um, how am I, like, how? I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna have to struggle as much this time. Half of your one cup of sugar. But knowing me, I will. Hi, y'all. Happy Halloween. Tis the season. To be scary. Let's be honest. This year has already been pretty scary. But today, we're gonna come together with Julia, Tess, and Chelsea once again to strike them with more scary. We're going to be carving some bell peppers. We're gonna be stuffing them with delicious, delicious beef and rice. We're gonna bake them, and then we're gonna make a little nice candy snack on the side while we're waiting for those. I think it's gonna be absolutely delightful, but let's just hope that nobody loses a finger, hmm? I'm looking at you, Chelsea. Please be careful. Does anybody have any idea what we're making today based on that terrifying grocery list I gave you? Um, I know what we're making. Yes, yes. We are making stuffed peppers and putting dumb jack-o'-lantern things and like cutting them or putting spooky eyes on it. I think Julia needs to lead the Zoom call now. Cause she's exactly right. Winner, winner, stuffed pepper dinner. I bought a single pepper. All right. Um, and then five Mondo tomatoes. Was the wine just for us to drink? Yes, it is. Unless you want to put it into your rice and beef concoction, nobody's stopping you now cause you're an adult and you can do whatever you want. This was a shrimp I made at 10 a.m. It is actually very heavy. I it almost broke my purse. Wait, can I see everyone's t-shirts? Oh yeah. <gasps> I love it. I love it so much. The first thing that we're gonna do, because I'm guessing nobody cooked their rice yet, is we're gonna cook the rice. Are you guys ready? I cooked it. You cooked the rice? I cheated. Yeah, I <laughs> oh my gosh! Did everyone cook their rice already? I have to take out rice. Oh, All right. right, that's amazing. Should you let people know what time it is while we're doing this? Yes, it is 11 a.m., guys. Yeah, well. Chelsea, before you get too drunk, shall we do some of the knife work? Okay. I, yes. I really don't want to see you lose a finger. I think you need those to film stuff. Yeah, I kind of do. Let's take out all of our ingredients. How many do we need? You need four, but I made you get five. So pick the biggest ones that will be easier for you to carve, and then also pick ones that will stand evenly and not wobble around. <laughs> oh, mine, mine are real, real wobbly. It's okay, we can slightly trim off the bottoms to make them more stable. Okay, so as far as our ingredients, you should have bell peppers, olive oil, some kosher salt and black pepper. And then you should have one onion plus two garlic cloves. And you should have some chili powder or whatever seasoning you want in there. One pound of ground beef, one cup of cooked white rice. And then we're gonna have about a cup of chicken broth or whatever broth you bought. That's fine, even water is okay. And then you got a one 15 ounce can of tomatoes as well as your delicious shredded cheese. Tess is ready. Tess is like... I've been ready. June, I thought about it a lot and I realized what you look like in your super cool shirt. 
You just look like what I tried to look like in middle school. Wow, I am middle school Tess, the ideal version. I can definitely die now. Okay, what are we doing? We're preheating our oven to 350 degrees. We're making sure all of our peppers are washed and dried. I'm also worried that I'm gonna drop this and I'm gonna catch something on fire. You definitely will die today, Chelsea. It's Halloween. It's for the special. Thank you for your sacrifice. Fine. Grab your favorite sharp paring knife. A favorite sharp knife? All my knives are my favorites. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, depending on how big your bell pepper is, you're going to cut the top off of it. If you have a huge one, you can afford to chop straight horizontally through for a flat surface. But if you have a tiny one and you want more filling inside, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fruit and you're going to go carve up, down, around the stem so that you're preserving more of the fruit. Is pepper a fruit? I feel like pepper is a fruit. It has seeds in it, right? Is that the official, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're just gonna like, I'm gonna do a couple variations of this. Julia, I would go a little bit less on your next pop off. I cut all four of them already. I honestly think that liking peppers is a serial killer trait. Yeah. Yes, and tell me more about why you hate bell peppers. Well, firstly, they make me so gassy. I'm fed up already. Go further. They just also they smell like if vegetables vomited. Like they just smell so bad. Chelsea, that's fine. But I have just keep them both. Do I use the fed up one or do I use another one? It's up to you, but I think it's fine. That's why I made you get five because I knew you were gonna fed up. <sighs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the top, we're gonna fill the peppers and then we're gonna top it with the top and bake it like that. Well, what about tomatoes? They're full of stuff. Yeah, tomatoes aren't hollow. Tess, if you're doing the tomato, I would hollow them out with a spoon, maybe. How are you going to judge who wins today? I'm gonna judge if you have all of your fingers. Okay. And I'm gonna judge how good your jack-o'-lanterns on your peppers look and I'm gonna make you eat it. Nice job, Tess. So what does it mean by having a good jack o lantern Like, does it need to look cute, scary? Like, what do you... I don't know, Julia. I feel like everything is arbitrary, so if it delights you and it delights me, then you win. We are gonna cut the faces right now. So I recommend a serrated knife if you have one. The little teeth help you grip onto the edges and saw through the surfaces. And I also recommend that you poke through the surface and then go in very small sawing motions. Instead of trying to like drag your knife, go in and out and saw through it. So it's like ee, ee, ee. But also don't do that test because if you have a huge ass knife in one hand and you're stabbing into the other and it's a very soft material like a pepper in between, you might just lose a finger or your whole hand. I got eyes. Something here, something. It looks like a like a, a ninja turtle. Wow, Tess, that's fantastic. You did that in record breaking time too. You said serrated knife is best? Yes, I like serrated, because mm. the little teeth help you like saw through it. Okay, I don't know where my... The only serrated knife I have is this, which feels... That feels a little strong. Okay, I have those too. Guys, what's everyone gonna be for Halloween this year? You're looking at it. I was thinking about dressing up like a shark from Jaws with like little buoys and then Kevin can be Quinn. This is a lot harder than I expected. It's so much harder. You got cocky and that's what happens. You know what would help? Wine. Just saying. Oh God, I don't think I'm doing this very well. Me neither, it's okay. Tess, that looks like my face all year long this year. <laughs> it does. <laughs> See, I would have to say that like, Chelsea is being the smartest this round. Me? Look Why? at her, using a cutting board, not stabbing the knife through her other hand. What are you doing? Even I'm stabbing the knife through my other hand. Oh yeah, is this considered very unsafe practices, the way that we're doing this right now? 
Yeah, this is this is not the way you should be doing it. Do it like Chelsea. Do it like Chelsea does. Wow, said never. 2020, things that have never happened before are happening this year. Okay, this is my first one. I would like to show you. Look at him, he's missing a little so tooth. That's cute. Like, Julia, I like that one too. That's kind of Frankenstein-y. Yeah, he's, he's got like a lisp or something. Okay, I'm gonna try to make one look like Gus, but how do I do ears? Cause that's on the out. That's like, <laughs> then I go like this. Here's my orange child. June, that's so cute. I'm not gonna bake anything in it cause I'm not turning them on, on my oven today. How can I do this so that it looks like a ghost? I thought that cutting into peppers was way easier than this. Uh, no. It's probably still easier than a pumpkin. I could have made you guys cut a pumpkin and then bake a pumpkin. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, you're wide on me. If Georgia O'Keeffe carved a pepper, what kind of emotions would you like to see in a pepper? Um, One of pure pain because you are cutting a face out of its body. Okay. How do you do that? <clears throat> okay, I got it, I got it. Whatever June wants, June gets. If only that were the way that life actually worked in real life. All I want in life is to be as happy as this orange is. How is everyone else doing with their peppers? Tess is bored, as I, usual. I just think we should all lower our expectations of ourselves and everything would go a lot more smoothly. Okay, Tess wins. That's it. Challenge is over. I like to have high expectations so I let down constantly. So I have things to talk about in therapy. Tess, are you done? <laughs> I am done. Okay, I think we're losing Tess. She's like slowly fading out of life. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys they heat about one to two tablespoons of oil in a large skillet over medium fire. I already forgot what you said. Turn off your heat. We didn't chop the onions and the garlic yet. I really hope I don't just start crying. And then have the onion straight down. Oh, so. wow, onions. Okay, hold up. <laughs> oh no. Julia, that was amazing. You obviously didn't need any of my instructions. Uh, how much garlic are we cutting? We're cutting two cloves, but you can go more if you want. I threw all my right. garlic in the garbage can. It just sits in there. All my garlic is in the garbage can now. I'm just going crazy. I'm, I, I, I gave up. I gave up. I gave up. Why did you give up? Because I was afraid I was going to hurt myself. I don't like, I don't like knives. Oh God, it's so oniony. I can't chop <laughs> It really gives you that doe-eyed look, Julia. It's like very pretty. Oh god. Oh, that's so bad. Tess remains unamused. Chelsea the cat currently has paper towel between her lips, chopping from four feet away. Chelsea, what are you doing? I just, it's a lot, okay? My dog is just staring at me as I cry. The onion and the garlic are going in apart from each other. We're gonna cook the onions first until they're soft and a little bit golden and translucent, and then we'll add in the garlic. Oh my God, there's garlic peel all over the floor. All over. Everything is everywhere. This is chaos. Chaos has begun. All right here, my face is burning. I'm definitely panicking. I'm already panicking. Okay. <laughs> Everything on the floor, it's like half of half of this is on the floor right now. When was the last time you cooked for Kevin, like a dinner? Uh, when did we move in together? Maybe like four and a half years? <laughs> I do remember that phrase, um, what was it? If you never want to do something again, just be really bad at it. 
My first boss ever told me when I moved in with Michael that I had to slowly begin to train him. She walked me through how to begin like, not hypnotizing, but just like slowly, in a very Pavlovian sense, just like get him to do the things I wanted to do. She's like, if you want this relationship to succeed, this is what you'll do. And I thought it was psychotic and also it worked, so. Go ahead and add in the garlic. This is the best, honestly, one of the best things I've eaten in a long time. Oh. My beef looks like it was pureed before it was put in the package. Because it probably came from 2,000 cows. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Do I want the blood in there? Yeah, you can do it. Wait, I'm still taste. Are you ready? Wow. Alright, I'm putting the garlic in. We're just... We're just going, we're going for it. June. Yes, Tess. It's like the consistency of like a worm you step on in the rain. Ew. What? what? That's just what it looks like. Okay, well keep cooking it, please. I keep dropping shit on the floor. Kevin's gonna be so mad. I don't think Kevin's gonna be mad anymore, Chelsea. Otherwise he's gonna go crazy. I'm glad he's not here because the last video that we did, there was so much judgment from the other room of like, oh no, everything is like, he was afraid to just walk in here and just see a disaster. Well, you know what they say, if you feel like a disaster and you look like a disaster, then... Did everyone get to put in all of their favorite spices in addition to the chili powder? Um, I'm... yeah, I put in, I took a leaf from Tess's book, I put cumin in. Wonderful. Now we're going to add in our tomatoes, about half a cup of chicken broth, and our cooked rice. Okay, so you guys have A whole can of tomatoes in there? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think my peppers can handle all this. It might be a lot, but maybe Chelsea's peppers can handle all of it. I think mine can. Mine were big boys. And then we're gonna add in our rice as well. And then we're gonna stir, stir, stir. And once that's all warmed up and bubbly, you're gonna add in about three quarters cup of your shredded cheese. Oh crap, I turned off my heat. What it's supposed to be, it, what's it on? Low? Yeah. Medium to medium high. Oh crap, I didn't realize that right now. You said half a cup? Half a cup of broth, one cup of rice, and three quarters cup of cheese. No expectations, no disappointments. So Julia, tell me the flavor palette of your wine. Smells like, why is it like vinegar sadness? Oh. And it tastes like two days ago. I think Tess has a question, guys. No, I'm just, I'm just done talking, I think. So I was gonna silently just like gesture for the rest of the time. But if you could just let me know if the cheese is going in now, that'd be fantastic. Yes, cheese is going in right now. Three quarters cup of it and mixy mix. And once that cheese is all nice and incorporated, we can take the pot off the heat. We are on high heat, everyone. So is your oven preheated to 350? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have a baking dish? What, do you like a sheet? Wonderful. Do you have aluminum foil? Yes. Tess, I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I just, I see you moving your lips, but I do not hear sound and it's very frustrating. What did I do in a previous life for no one to hear me every single time I speak? Ugh. I heard you that time. <laughs> but I couldn't hear you then when you just said like, okay, I think. I'm mumbling, mother I don't want to talk any louder than this. Why won't, why would you mumble on purpose? You know, I honestly thought that this challenge would be way easier than the cheesecake one, but it is turning out to be just as horrendously painful for these folks. Can I just show you guys that this one, I guess the hole is like, because it's now just throwing up. <laughs> I mean, I think that's perfectly on brand for Halloween, isn't it? <laughs> Look how sad he is! <laughs> what if I 
suck on the mouth of it. I'm, God, Oh, it tastes really good. Is this too big of a tray? My flavor happens. I think it's fine, Chelsea, but I would stagger your peppers out so that they're not in line. Yeah, exactly. Give them a little bit more breathing space so that heat can distribute evenly through them. Okay. After your cheese is piled on top of your peppers, you're going to pour in half a cup of chicken broth and you're going to cover your baking sheet with some foil so that your peppers can steam a little bit and that your cheese can get nice and gooey without burning. Much more technical than I thought it was gonna be. My pan is, uh, to put it gently, is f***ed up and it like is warped, so it's gonna take so much liquid to fill up this pan. Don't You don't need to fill it up, Julia, just oh. a little bit to have some steam action. Okay, well there's a lot in there now. We're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna remove the foil after that and let the cheese get nice and toasty. How's everyone's peppers? Let's take a peek. Mm -hmm. Let's take them out. We're gonna lift the foil and we're gonna see how our cheese is doing. And at this point, if you want more cheese, put on more cheese. And then we'll slide them back in and let them crisp up for maybe 10 to 15 minutes more at 350. But in the meantime, I have a fun activity for us to do. Why is it 20 pounds heavier than when it went in? I'm not quite sure. That doesn't make sense to us because a liquid should have evaporated. Ooh, Julia. Wow, look at those. Cheese is mandatory all the time. It's not mandatory, it's up to personal taste. If you have enough cheese on there and you don't want to eat more, then that's cool. Okay, we're going to put the cheese. Let's take out your peanut butter, your Oreos, your Reese's, and your eyeballs. We are going to be making some fun little Reese's bats with these. So you just need one Oreo for every two Reese's. It really depends on how many of these you want to eat. We can just do one Oreo right now. Reese's down! Well, you're going to twist them apart, remove the cream, and then you're going to cut each of those can of cookies in half. Okay, twisting, taking out the filling. Or you can eat them. So you won't need the filling at all? I got mega stuffed because they got double stuffed, so I needed to go one extra. I mean, you can save the filling and just eat it out of the tub. Crap, these don't cut in half very well. They broke. What are we doing right now? It's a circle, so anywhere you have them is a half. You're gonna unwrap it. And then you're going to open your tub of peanut butter or Nutella and you're going to dab a little bit of that butter on the tip of your Oreo and you're going to glue it to your Reese's and you're going to make some fat things. I don't know, June. How much peanut butter on each of the half ones? Just a tiny little dab as glue. Logistically, I have no idea how this works. Okay, <laughs> test. You take your Reese's, put it on your cutting board. Yes, correct. Okay, and then the wide side of the cup is facing up. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna take your Oreo that's now dabbed with peanut butter and you're going to take that straight edge that's gonna face downwards towards the bottom of the Reese's cup. The straight edge. Okay. Yes, exactly. Now you're going to flip them though so that the peanut butter is touching the top of the Reese's and you're gonna glue the Oreos to the Reese's. It looks like Mr. Monopoly and not a bat. Looks oh like that you need. Yes. And now you're going to put your googly eyes on top of the Oreos across the set, across the middle. Like this? Sure, Chels, but I did say that the well, if you turn the cup upside down, you got it right. Question. So, when I do it, do I want it up here? You can, but my inspo is flat side facing the bottom of the recess. So flip yours 180. Yes. Wait, where? How? Ah. <laughs> There's sprinkles on my floor as well as garlic peels, tomato juice, and probably onions. Sounds like my life test. 
Write in the comments down below who is your role model in this video. Is it Julia, the perfectionistic princess? Is it Tess, the one who does not give a f anymore and has never? Or is it Chelsea? Chelsea. It's just about time to check in on our delicious peppers. Wow, my gorgeous. I'm ready to show you my situation. Okay, show me your situation. Ready? There we go. They look yeah. like display teeth that an orthodontist would put out in an attempt to not scare children. Exactly. And then I tried to make a ghost with this one, but it kind of looks like a door. <laughs> that reminds me of like a Tim Burton creature. I mean, I tasted the mixture before. I think it's really good, so I'm excited to try it. I mean, it looks really good. And does it taste really good? Yeah. Yes. Or after. Chelsea, I'm gonna give you like a B slash B plus. Test, should we see yours next? Sure. Um, I have two options. One is the plate, which everything entirely collects in on itself. That is the plate you will be eating out of because I'm willing to bet those are way more delicious than the other ones. I think you're right. And it does, I mean, not to pivot from poop to vomit, but it does look like someone vomited after eating. Is that off. cheese, what you just? It's cheese with like bits of rice and beef mixed in. I love that bite. Yes. How's it taste? Salty. Okay. This was a failed attempt at beauty. A cheese ball. Oh my god. That's a lot of cheese, girl. <laughs> You're not gonna taste the one that's in the bell pepper, I'm assuming. That's correct because peppers, as I have mentioned, are disgusting. Yeah, that sounds delightful. I'm delightful. What do you guys think? Do I give Tess a grade or is she just completely disqualified? If I'm disqualified, you should have told me three and a half hours ago. <laughs> No, Tess, that actually looks delicious. I want to eat the tomato version way more than I want to eat the bell pepper version because it just looks like almost like a savory pudding of sorts. I'm going to give you a BB plus as well. No. Mine are structurally sound. This is <laughs> Julia, are you ready to show me your beauteous peppers? Yes, I am. Yes, Jeff. Okay. Oh my God. Here we go. Whoa, you're still getting a cheese pull. A little bit. Rip the bandit off, Julia won. I think we're all in consensus. However, I'm the kind of teacher who likes to give out different awards for different successes. I think Julia is like the picture perfect award. I think Tess is like the rogue innovation award. She went with tomatoes, they look delicious, I would eat it. And Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea just wins because Chelsea completed the task and she has all of her fingers and she's adorable and everybody loves Chelsea. So Chelsea wins the Chelsea Award. I will take that.